Okay, here's our second practice one. We're going to graph this and then state the domain and range. First thing you want to do is identify what format does it follow. Well, this one looks more like the AX plus B divided by CX plus D. Once you get that decision made, then you can kind of go back to the rules. It tells us that my vertical asymptotes is where our denominator is equal to zero. So I need to take my CX plus D, my 3X minus 7, and I need to set it equal to zero and solve it. So add 7 to both sides, divide by 3, and I get a vertical asymptote at 7 thirds. My horizontal asymptotes. It tells me that I have to take A divided by C. Now remember, A and C are the coefficients of your variables. A is the one in the numerator, C is in the denominator. So my coefficients are 2 and 3. My horizontal asymptote then is Y is equal to 2 thirds. Notice you don't keep the X's, it's only the coefficients that go up there. Once you get your vertical asymptote and your horizontal asymptotes, go ahead and sketch those. Now you can use your sketch to decide what your table of values is. Well, my vertical asymptote is over here at 7 thirds, which is 2 and a third. So I need to pick points to the left and to the right of it. I'm going to go ahead and pick 2, 1, and 0 for my points to the left of it. And for my points to the right of it, I'm going to pick 3, 4, 5. Go ahead and plug those back into your equation and see what you come up with for the y value. Okay, I've got my table of values filled in here. I, when I plotted my points, I decided that I wanted to have another point to the left here, so I went ahead and I added negative 1 to my table. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. But once I got those points pot plotted, I sketched in my smooth curve and ended up getting my hyperbola. Okay, here's your third practice. Go ahead and pause the video and try to graph each one of these. Notice they're two different setups, so make sure you take your time. On the first one, I started by finding what form I was in, and it was the AX plus B over CX plus D form. So I knew my vertical asymptote. I had to set my denominator equal to zero and solve it, and I got X equals negative five halves. So my vertical asymptote is over here at X equals negative five halves. For my horizontal asymptote, I had to take my leading coefficients over each other. So I have 3 over 2. Horizontal asymptote is up here at 3 over 2. Then I picked my table of values. I picked numbers to the left of my vertical asymptote, numbers to the right of my vertical asymptote, plugged them all in, plotted each of my points. Now my negative 311 is clear up here. It went off my graph just because I'm working on this. Um, so I kind of estimated where that one was. And then the same thing over here with the uh, um, negative 2, negative 8 value. So once you get your points plotted, sketching your curve, and you should end up with this setup. Okay, now go ahead and try the second one. Okay, for the second one, it was our form where we had a over x minus h and then plus k. So my vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2 because I have to take the opposite sign of my h. My horizontal asymptote is this negative 3 here. Did my table of values, I picked numbers to the left of my vertical asymptote, numbers to the right of my vertical asymptote. Now on my graph, I chose to have my whales y scale go by threes. So my graph might look a little bit different than yours, but that's because my scale is different. Plotted all my points, connected it with a smooth curve, and we can just go back and double check. Since A was positive, I'm supposed to be in quadrants one and three, which I am.